Light panels, Astra one by one, big old LED lights. They're absolutely fantastic. We love them for all different situations. However, we have discovered one little problem with them, or at least with a very select batch of some of them. Um, and that is that, uh, you know, I'm sure some of you will have heard of this. When you turn them all the way up, they won't go all the way up to full brightness when it's on battery or the red light starts flashing or, it, which this happened in front of a client, it just switches itself off for no apparent reason. Battery's still full, red light goes on, dead. Various odd problems with them. However, the solution is all the same and that essentially is replacing the original control board, PCB, with a newer version of the same thing and you can get these direct from light panels or VTEC. Um, and as you can see, they look pretty much the same, but the new version is just a bit more reliable. It has something different about the power, which makes it better. So I'm gonna show you very briefly how to disassemble your light panels Astra and fit the new control board to it. All you need is uh, a lovely Allen key. This is uh, 330, <laughs> 332 inches um, and this is uh, and you can get a precision screwdriver if you like I couldn't be bothered to open the toolkit so this is one I got over cracker just a little Phillips head screwdriver so let's take it apart and see what the innards look like okay so we've got our Astra one by one uh, I should just say though before we start taking this apart um, this may void your warranty obviously <laughs> um, the parts themselves are not that expensive um, but, uh, you know, if you're not confident with doing this, you know, it's time to get confident because these things are easy to do and you're going to pay over the odds to get an engineer to do it. And it's only, it's that, that's all you need. Okay, so here we have our light panels Astra one by one. Uh, this is an Astra four times. The current models are three times and six times, possibly because of this issue. Um, but this is a four times, so uh, we'll have a look what it is. First thing we need to do is take the yoke off. There are two washers, there's one on each thingy there, and then on this side there are two little other washers that need to come off. I'll put them on those so that we don't lose them. That's the yoke disassembled. Put that on the cooker. Um, now, easy bit here, I've put Velcro on the top of here to mount a few different accessories, um, but you don't, don't need to do that um, if you're wondering what the, the Velcro is around the, around the top. Uh, and then it's simply four Allen keys. That's our Allen key done with for the moment. Now, what we're going to do, we're actually going to take out the LED block, not separate the plastic outer, because um, we don't need to. Um, this essentially just pulls apart enough for you to pull that out of there and that out of there. These two metal sides, or top and bottom actually, come off like that, put them out of the way so you don't destroy them. Now you have to look carefully underneath to see which side the cables are, because obviously that's quite important. And they're this side, so I'm going to open it up this way. All we need to do now is detach this big power cable from there, so that's from there, and there is a ground wire as well, which I'll use my toy screwdriver to detach from, oops, detach from the board. A few screws, okay, and that's our LED panel out. There's two connections on there. Okay, and now you can see the inside of our Astra. Got to confess to you, I have already replaced this one, so I'm just going to show you where the screws are so that you can do it yourself, but uh, this kind of proves that it works because this one's already done. We have got this little tab here that connects the main power. Push on the top, pull that out. There we go, just a little two pin connector there. That's it. Now, what you will have probably on yours, if you've got a six times or what I had a four times, is another connector at the top of the board, which is for the fan, okay? Then it's just a question of four screws 
five, including uh, the ground wire from here. So, but it's essentially four screws, and then on the back there is a nut there which needs to come off the potentiometer. So there's a nut on the dimmer and a little washer which will come off when we pull it out. So you can see that. And now I'm going to do one, two, three, and four little screws on there. So four screws and the nut on the dimmer and it just lifts out. And that's it, that's actually the new one. Um, so replacement is exactly the same as removal. It just slots into place, it'll only go one way. It's not, it's not massively precise or difficult. And then we just replace the screws, remembering not to put that one in yet because that's the ground wire that goes to the LED panel there. So going back in one, I'm really doing it so you get an idea of the whole process. If you go to the VTEC parts website or the light panels website, it'll take you to the VTEC parts website and that's where you can find your part. So you scroll through the list and you identify light panels, Astra, and it will give you the option of three times or six times. I went for the three times because uh, that's closer to the four than sixes. Um, however, I was, it turns out I was wrong to do so. I should have, uh, I should have got the six times because I think that's got the fan connection. Um, so whichever one you have, oh, there it is. Don't forget the washer that goes on the dimmer. And then our little nut can go back on there. I'll probably tighten that up with my Leatherman later. Dimmer goes back on there. All done. Um, by the way, I should just mention that, that uh, if you haven't discovered it yet already, in interview situations, we'd often turn the fan off and you can do that manually with a switch that's under here. Um, so that's what that switch is for. It just turns the fan on, on and off when, when operating. Okay, so now we have our board back in, fully assembled, nice and solid. Dimmer's back on the back. It's time to put our beautiful LED panel back on. Um, and again, this is exactly the reverse of what we, how we took it out. Again, I really don't think this is worthy of note, if you have any common sense. The main connector back in to the board. Goes without saying, try not to touch any of the components or bash them, especially with anything metallic. And then he slots back in there. Once he's on there, it's time to reattach our lovely metal outers to the top and the bottom. And I find the, the sort of easiest way to do this now is to push it in one side, there we go, and then gently pull out the side on the opposite side and it just slots back in easy. And that's our light panel Astra. Just to prove it, where's my cable? There it is. Still attached to a battery. Um, Green light will come on and then it will flash. I tend to leave it completely off, the dimmer off, until it's stopped flashing. There we go. And hey. Beautiful light there. <laughs> and these are all, all back functioning again at full brightness, which this unit was not doing until I replaced this board. So there we are, that's how to replace your light panels Astra main control board with two tools and five minutes. And it's well worth it if you are exhibiting any odd behavior, any strange power issues or whatever from these lights. For the sake of 120 pounds or about the same uh, equivalent dollars, get the spare parts and repair it yourself. It's, it's pretty straightforward. So 
I've been John Fry. Thank you very much for watching. Check us out on other social media if you so desire. But otherwise, see you next time. Thanks.